Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick how-to. In this video, we're going to show you how you can use Uber Request a Ride app on your mobile device. So first up here, go to Google Play Store if you're using Android and go to App Store if you're using iOS device and make sure to install this app. So here, once you find the install button, so tap on install and once done, tap on open. So you can see the application here. So first up, you'll find this interface. So as you can see, tap on while using the app to access the location. And then here, as you can see, move with safety. So tap on get a started button. Now here, loading, and you need to enter your uh, Google account, Apple, or email. So I'm going to select continue with Google account. So here you can basically enter your mobile number. But in my case, I'm going to select my Google account. And then here you can select the location where you're at. So for example, here I'm going to select Philippines and then you can now add your number. Now enter the four digit code sent to your mobile number. So enter right over here. So this is a four digit code and once done, tap on next. And then here, as you can see, accept Uber terms review privacy notice. Now on the next page, as you can see, Select your preferred payment method. So you have credit or debit card. You can select Google Pay or you can select cash or gift card. So in this case, I'm going to tap on skip right there at the top right hand corner. So you won't be able to request a ride without adding a payment method. So I'm going to tap on do it later right here at the bottom. Now here on the next page, as you can see, you'll then see this option or tab right there at the top. If you want rides or it's so basically you can also if you want to uh, deliver you a, a food so here i'm going to use the rides and then here you'll find where to box where you can actually select the location where you want to pick up so for example here i'm going to set location and map and find the location where you want to pick up so set your pickup spot and tap on confirm pickup and then select the address where you want to go. Then here you'll find the popular airlines. So I'm going to skip this by tapping on the skip button at the top right. Now gathering options here, you have to choose a ride if you want Uber X or if you want Comfort or Uber X Priority or Uber XL. And here you will find also economy which you can basically select Lime Ebex with local rates. And also if you find here, if you scroll down, you'll find another option where you want to take a ride. For example, here on Uber Pet, where you can actually ride with your pet and here Uber or Lime Scooters and Connect Express. We have also Premium and then the WAV or WAV. So you have a lot of selection here. So you just need to, for example, choose the Uber X. So tap on choose button at the bottom. So tap on that and you will now go to the next page. So as you can see, confirm the pickup spot. So tap on confirm pickup and here choose a rider. So you can basically select the rider and the rider number and then tap on next. So for example, this one here. So I'm going to add this as the rider. So confirm your location here. You will then need to select the method to confirm your identity. So basically you can select the ID or here you can verify your account by those options or you can basically use driver's license. You can use passport or you can use this credit or debit card as we seen earlier. Now, as you can see here on the applications, so you can basically track in your ride. After requesting a ride, you'll see your driver's details, including name, photo, vehicle, and estimated time of arrival. So you can track the driver's location in real time on the map. And if needed, you can contact the driver using the in-app messaging or call feature. Now, during the ride, ensure you verify the vehicle and driver match the details in the app before getting in. During the ride, you can share your trip status with friends or family for safety. And if you need to change your destination or make an additional stop, inform your driver and update the destination in the application. Now, once you arrive at your destination, the app will automatically process the payment using your saved payment method. 
Then after the trip, you'll be prompted to rate your driver and leave feedback. And you can also tip your driver through the app if desired. Now, last one, we have also some additional features. You can explore additional features in the Uber app, such as scheduling rides in advance, Uber pool or shared rides, and Uber Eats for food delivery. Access your ride history and receipts from the menu for expense tracking. So those are the features of Uber application. So you might need to download and install this to your mobile so you can better use saying this app. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.